like most stories, it starts on a road trip in France looking at basketball players. <laughs> so uh, I was bored. Um, someone else was driving. So I did a tweet Q&A, and someone asked me, hey, if, if you weren't working with the Rockets, what would you do? And I, was, I said, I don't know, theater. <laughs> and uh, Jason saw that and just said, hey, we're a theater in Houston. We love the Rockets. Why don't you come see? So then I, I came and I saw Happiness Is, which is a Michael Meyer play who wrote, obviously wrote the book and lyrics for this. Um, loved it. Got to know Jason. Couldn't believe the whole place was Rockets fans. I didn't think that would exist. Yeah. And, uh, and that's sort of how it all got started. It's after the rookie shooting guard now, the former princess of her small island nation. An enormous moment for the spunky hopeful. The clock is doing what it does. Ten. Nine, eight. She stutter steps. Big seven, six. I had an outline, a sketch of a show. Then Mickle Barr got involved early, and he smartly got rid of everything that okay, I had sketched guys. out, except for a ball being involved, and that's about it. You know, he yeah. he he did a ton of research actually. Mickle, he came to our game, went to post game press conferences where the whole show is set. Then we had sort of a draft of composers. Five people did a submission and we used our draft process on the selection and Tony and Merrill came out of that. I'm not guaranteeing anyone uh, except maybe Coach Dan Tony. I think he's fully committed to coming to the, the opener. Oh, it's good, it's good, and it is over. It's all over, the crowd goes insane. It literally goes insane. Bye, catastrophic fans. Doesn't sound like Michael. Oh, it's Ben Shrew. I'm not. Michael Jordan.